What's up, family, baby? How y'all doing? How y'all doing? Today, we're going to talk about the fear of failure and how it can make a dream seem impossible to achieve, man. So this is going to be part one of that video. And we're just going to talk about, man, why one of the important things in life is not to have the fear of fail. If you've been tuned with them for a while, you know I talk about that a lot. How I talk about it in life, we don't have ills. We don't take losses. We take lessons. So here is going to be like a in-depth video showing how we take those lessons and not losses and why failures or however you want to word it, it's good, man. It's a part of life because you grow. Every single time you grow, it's a valuable lesson. So let's get into it. Number one is don't be paralyzed by the analyst don't be paralyzed by the analyst i know you're thinking like what does that mean it means don't get to overthinking when you have that fear of failure and it's trying to make your dream impossible to achieve you start to overthink so you start to think more what can go wrong instead of thinking what can actually work in your favor so don't do that don't overthink Try to not make preventative actions to convince yourself that you don't need to do it. People get stuck in planning and they never move forward on their dream. And the reason being is they're overthinking. They won't even start. They won't even jump off the porch because they're scared. It's like riding a bike for the first time when you're younger without the training wheels. You're really scared. But I was thinking about something this morning. I was like, I was just thinking. I think I was thinking, I was talking to my brother last night and he was telling me a little situation. And then I was thinking like, dang, we all been scared before our first time doing something. Just think about that. The first time you ever done something, you were nervous about it. Whether it was the first day of school, your um, first interview, the first time going to a class, the first time on a field trip without your parents, the first time you went on a vacation by yourself, whatever that was, you had doubt, you were worried, you were nervous. But if you just look at it, you end up doing it because it was something you had to do. And after that, it wasn't bad. That fear, it went away. So this works the same way. Don't overthink. Don't be paralyzed by the analyst or you overthinking. It's okay if it doesn't go your way. Just do it. Knock it out. Get that experience so you know what can make it better next time. All right, number two, doubting yourself. We got to stop doubting ourselves. Fear of failure, it, oft it often breeds people to doubt themselves. You got to stop doing that. Don't make questions about yourself. Don't make questions thinking, are you not capable of achieving something? Are your abilities not worth it like just maybe if your ability is not worth it let's work on growing ourselves increasing our toolbox those are things we got to work on number three this is a big one this is a real big one avoidance of risk high risk high reward low risk low reward is simple math so you can always play it safe remember that but like I said like I said, like I said, fear of failure can make a dream impossible to achieve. So do you really want in your 20s, in your early 20s, when you have the opportunity to take a lot of risks right now, a lot of people in their 20s, this is the chance. Like this is your freedom time. You know, sometimes, not everybody. Some of us, we don't have kids. Some of us. We're figuring ourselves out. Some of us haven't really jumped in the career field. So this is really your time to take those risks now to see if you like something early compared to living in regret later in your life. So take those risks right now. When you got a dream, sometimes it requires taking a risk. This camera right here that I'm recording off of, I had to take a risk off this camera when I bought it in 2017. I had people tell me, why are you spending a thousand dollars? I only spent a thousand dollars on this camera. Well, not this camera, but my first camera. I only spent a thousand dollars on it. Why are you spending that money on that camera? Do you really think it can work out for you? Honestly, I did. 
That's why I bought it. So, you know, I invested in myself. I had that risk. I knew, like, okay, it's a camera. And the way I thought about it is, it's a lesson. I like taking pictures. I like recording stuff. So, it's like, even if I don't, you know, use it to how I think, it'll always have value in my life because it's something I like to do. And I like to be with this camera. Like, I like film. I like creating. I like creating memories. That's something I like doing. That's something I enjoy doing. So, to me, I always felt like it was worth it. So, in your head, ask yourself, is it really worth it? If something is really worth it, go for it, man. Negative mindset. That's number four. Negative mindset. A fear-focused mindset can amplify your fears. Listen to that again. A fear-focused mindset can amplify your fears. So it can lead to a belief that success is not attainable. Success is unattainable. It can come to that. Do you want it to come to that conclusion? Ask yourself, do you want that? So we got to get out this negative mindset. Let's stop having a negative mindset. Why not you? Why not you? Why can't it be you? It can be you. Why not you? If it happened for someone else, it can happen for you. They put in that time at work. You don't know what type of time and work and energy they put into something. So don't ever compare yourself. They may have put more time in you. They may have sacrificed more than you. So just, you know, realize that. Be real with yourself. If you're putting 20%, it may take a little longer than somebody that put in 100%. But just remember, your time is going to be your time. When your time comes, it will come. So just stay focused. Stay ready. And again, that goes back into number five to end part one. Don't compare yourself to others. Do not compare yourself to others. You generate that fear when you're not measuring up to someone else that you compare yourself to. And it makes it hard to pursue your personal goals. Stop doing that. For example, I can use it for my gym. If you follow me, you know my gym content. When I first started trying to gain weight, gain muscle, I never looked at anyone else. I just looked at myself in my old videos. I record a lot. I looked at my past. Dang, I was real, real small. Didn't really have a lot of muscle, but I was strong. I could live. I was strong for my size. I was really, really strong. But I didn't really have that mass. So when I was trying to gain that mass, I went to people for workouts that had a range with their body that, you know, I wouldn't mind trying to get to where we had the same type of body type, maybe, you know, the same height, six feet, same desired weight, two some. And then I realized like, okay, they've been working out for this amount of time because it's not really a get rich quick. It's not nothing that you can do quick. It all requires time and consistency, dedication and discipline. So you gotta remember that. Time, consistency, dedication and discipline. So when I watched them do that, I bought, you know, I bought the videos. And then when I bought their workouts, I used those workouts for me. And then those workouts became my normal workout plan to the point that when I go to the gym now, I use those workouts that I bought. And man, when I tell you, they work numbers. I sent it to all my homeboys. So, you know, I took that risk. Like, I didn't have that big mindset. Oh, I'm not buying workouts for nobody. I didn't have pride. I just use it myself. So, again, don't compare yourself to others. If anything, ask questions. If someone is where you want to go, ask them questions. Ask them how they get there. Don't be scared, man. Ask them, you know, if they're willing to tell you. Somebody is willing to tell you out there. I'm telling you, somebody. Even if one person is not, it's somebody that is. Find a person that's willing to show you or ask you, you know. Don't ask for answers. Just ask for tips. Like, what are the things, what are the hardest things you had to overcome? Ask those questions, man. Like, it's enough out here for all of us to eat. There's no need to hate on this person. There's no need to doubt yourself, compare yourself to the next person. Let's just do enough for us. That way, we can achieve more in life. And we can achieve what we want to achieve. All right, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. Part two. Dropping soon, baby. I love y'all. Dial the family. I'm out.